I decided to keep wrestling in college because I really wasn't satisfied with how my season would look if I ended it that way without qualifying for the state tournament or anything like that. If I ended it like that, it'd leave a, a, a poor taste in my mouth for a while, so, you know, I decided to keep going. My name is Ellie Ware, and I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, I got started with wrestling because I had nothing else to do. I used to come home from school, sit at home for six hours, and get up and go to school the next day. My mom really wanted me to you know, be more active, so she put me in wrestling. He lived in Milwaukee and he had to be bused to, to go to Brookfield to go to school. So by the time he would come back home from school, it'd be kind of late. He didn't have a chance to really play outside or hang out with friends. And he really didn't have any friends in the neighborhood. So as a result, I thought, well, if I could get him to be involved in some kind of sport, um, then maybe he could you know, facilitate those relationships and be able to do that. I gave Ellie a choice. I said, uh, what two sports do you want to get involved in? And he decided the first would be cross country and the other one would be wrestling. As a freshman, I didn't really like it because I used to stay after practice for about three hours and then just kind of wait to go home and I'd get home really late. You know, I was tired of being on JV. I think I went three and 12 my freshman year. And during sophomore year, uh, as the regional tournament was coming up, um, our, our 45 got injured and I wanted the varsity spot, but I got staff so I couldn't wrestle. I remember my coach telling me that even though I had staff, he still expected me to do great things uh, next year on the team. With that said, I asked my mom to come here to Aspen Wrestling Academy just because I didn't want to get on varsity for the first time and then do mediocre. What I noticed about Ellie when he was in practice more and more uh, is, is his ability to fight. Um, and a lot of times, especially when he first started coming, it, it, it was a lot of fighting off his back. First time that I think that I that I started to really realize that Ellie was going to be good was really in the fall of after his after his sophomore year. You know, we had a talk about you know what you can become and what you can work for, and at that point it seemed like he came with a purpose. There was intent in what he did. There's one thing the wrestling's taught me that I can use in everyday life is that uh, hard work pays off. And so even though I might not have achieved the goals that I wanted to in high school, I think if I keep training hard and working hard in the practice room, that one day I'll be able to achieve my goals. He's, he's really made strides and I say he's caught a lot of people and I think it's only you know, probably in the next year or so that he'll really start to see, um, I say all, all of his work come, come about and really start putting it on people.